I have a very special announcement that I'm gonna be making at the end of this video. So if you're an artist, listen up and watch till the end. No matter where you are in the world, I want you to listen up because this is gonna be something so spectacular that might help your career out tremendously. And I want you to be a part of it. Hey guys, welcome to episode two of the Bilal Rahman Studio and Gallery series. There has been so much progress since episode one and I cannot wait for you guys to see this stuff. We have officially ripped up the hideous fucking black floors that needed to go. They were all scratched and dented and they're officially gone and cleaned out and we are down to bare concrete. And so I love the look of concrete. The gray color is cool, but I feel like it's way too common. So I really wanted to do something different for the design of the gallery and take it and dye it. So here we had four different color options that I found. One of them is super black, the other one is a little bit of a lighter black, and then the other two are different shades of blue. Uh, if you know me, you know that one of my favorite colors is cobalt blue, and so the idea sparked when I saw the sample in the store to maybe go blue. But the more and more I think about it, I'm leaning more towards the black side, just because I feel like from a design standpoint, it makes way more sense to have a black foundation to lay product on and design around, as opposed to the blue, which is much more of a commitment and kind of limits what we can do. Uh, but I definitely need your help deciding because I, I'm kind of torn between the two because the blue is really cool also. Um, aside from the concrete being gone, we now have a feature wall behind the checkout desk. So the feature wall is completely going to be done in this fabulous piano black finish and it's gonna have lots of texture to it, and it's gonna be a really big statement in the gallery. Right in the center of it is gonna be a huge 85-inch TV that's gonna play pictures of me, of course, fucking videos of me, like everything about me, 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 <laughs> the whole fucking way, because this is the Bilal Rahman Gallery, and I know you all wanna see it. Uh, this is our checkout desk. This monstrosity is going to be killer when it is done. So our contractor actually made this from scratch and he did such a good job. Literally, you would have thought he was a carpenter. Obviously, it's a bit high right now and so we're gonna drop it down just a little bit. Uh, after seeing people interact with it, I feel like it's a little bit too tall, um, but then this part itself will stay just because it's, it's good and it creates the shape. But I really did not want a rectangular checkout desk. That was my like one thing. If you walk into the gallery, I really wanted the checkout desk to be a statement. So we custom designed this kind of trapezoid looking desk that almost looks like a cut gem. And we're gonna cover it with something really special that we're gonna talk about in the next episode, but it's gonna create such a statement in front of this feature wall for sure. Coming into the secondary room of the gallery. Okay, so remember in last episode how I talked about doing a special paint color? Well, this is the special paint color. So this is actually a patented formulated color by Yves Klein that is exclusive to the paint co uh, company Resource. And basically they're the only ones in the world who can make this paint color because of how pigmented it is. And I'm obsessed. The only thing that I didn't realize was that this little can, this tiny can that covers nothing costs $100. So it's gonna cost a lot of money to cover this room, so we may pivot into another space just because I felt like this room needed to evolve as the gallery and studio evolved and committing to such an expensive paint color did not make any sense to me. Now moving on to this side of things. Last time you saw this, this was just a giant hole in the wall, but we now officially have the double doors. These double doors are going to lead into Bilal Rahman's studio. Not much has happened on this side of things just because we're focusing more on the gallery for now, but this space needs a total facelift. As you can tell, the shitty ass lighting is not up to my standards. If you didn't see the TikTok on layers of lighting, then what the fuck have you been doing with your time? Because this is a no-go. But we're gonna take all these lights out, we're gonna put in a whole bunch of can lights and spotlights and really make this space way more vibrant so that it matches the aesthetic of the gallery. Now follow me to this side. I cannot wait to show you this. This big bitch of a door is the most amazing piece and it's my favorite thing in the office so far. That right there is what I've been talking about. We have been waiting for this custom door to come in for so long now. And as you can see, we've only had the keys for a week, but this place is moving. This pile of trash is speaking for it. 
This door is going to be the secondary entrance to the studio. And we're gonna put the signature right here in Chrome and it's gonna have all the information about the studio and the hours. And it has its own separate lock and key just for the staff. So this is gonna be staff exclusive unless you become a client, of course. This door weighs a ton. I think it took like six guys to get it in here and my contractor has been working on it for three days straight trying to get it installed. Because this is actually an exterior door. It's not meant to be used on the inside of a building, but we had to modify it to make it work because I just fell in love with the design way too much to like give it up. Um, but he finally did it and they framed it out and they put it in and they did a fantastic job. This door is not going anywhere. Even after I move out of this space, it has to stay here because this thing is bolted in with bolts this big. So it's, it's staying. I know you guys are dying to see the bathrooms, but nothing has happened yet. They are just an empty shell. As you can see, the toilet is literally sitting out here wrapped in plastic. This is the old toilet. We're changing it out for a new one uh, that is way more aesthetic. I think I'm gonna go black with the toilet just to give it a little bit more edge, but the whole bathroom is going to be insane and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I have a feeling like some of you are just gonna come here just to take a picture in that bathroom. So not much has happened in the kitchen. It is still just a storage unit, but we have some additional new pieces that we found at Round Top and we sourced, um, as well as a couple of custom pieces of artwork by my dear friend and local artist, Julie Mai. Uh, she made them custom for one of our clients and I cannot wait for you guys to see them installed because they are so cool. Actually, one of them uses that Yves Klein blue in it and it's stunning. Like in person, that blue doesn't even look real. Because I love you so much, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek, so come on. So this is the piece, that's it. That's all you get to see. You'll see it when it's hanging in the install or when it's printed in Architectural Digest. I'm putting that in the universe. This is the announcement that you've all been waiting for. If you are a small artist, please listen up and thank you so much for watching all the way until the end of this video. So the Larahman Gallery is all about supporting small artists from around the world. And so I want to feature your work in this gallery. We have 50 available spots to host Painters, artists, sculptures, furniture makers, lamp makers, anything you can possibly imagine for the home. And I really want you to be a part of this. So this is our way to give back to the art community because you know that local artists and small artists are near and dear to my heart and I only use them in my projects, never mass produced. So it's time for you to get the platform you deserve here at Bilarhman Studio and Gallery. All the details on how to apply are down below, and I personally will be reviewing every single submission along with my team to make sure that we get the best of the best for the gallery. The concept of the gallery is to make sure that the inventory is constantly rotating. So we're doing it in six month segments. So you may get into the gallery for six months and then after six months, somebody else comes in. But this is a way where we can ensure that people are always constantly getting new opportunities and we're giving a platform to each and every one of you as best as we can. In addition to being in the physical gallery, we're also going to be putting all of your pieces on bilarahmangallery.com so people worldwide can shop your pieces and give you as much exposure as possible. As well as your pieces being featured on my social media and in Bilarahman Studios projects. We love to support local artists and so we're going to make sure that we use as much of the gallery's pieces in our projects as possible. This has been episode two of the Bilarahman Studio and Gallery series. I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for episode three. I have no idea where the fuck we're going to be in the construction process, but I will definitely keep you updated. Until next time, remember to elevate everyday experiences. This has been your favorite luxury interior designer. Now get the fuck out of here. Woo! Good. Good. <laughs> it's so hard being a celebrity. <laughs>